What's up guys, welcome to the GC journey. In this video, the GC finally goes to the dyno and we're gonna find out how much power you can make with a top mount intercooler. So while the GC is being strapped down, let's quickly go over the setup so you can know what kind of numbers to expect. We have an EJ20 closed deck, 2.14 liter stroker, built heads with 272 Kelford cams, Garrett Gen 2 2860 turbo, ID1050X injectors, IG fuel rails, TGV deletes, we're running a parallel fuel line setup, Walbro 450 liters per hour fuel pump, RCM unequal length headers, hashtag box or rumble for life, Haltech Elite 1500 ECU. We're gonna be tuning on hybrid fuel, 98 octane and tuolene. And we're running a Process West top mount intercooler, which might limit us due to high intake air temperature. We're about to find out. So that's the current setup. I'm hoping to get 350, 360 wheel horsepower out of it. Let's go see if we can reach our power goal. And if not, uh, we'll then have a chat with our tuner, Yotam, and we'll see what parts we need to upgrade in order to do so. We just hit 340. What do you think? Is there still somewhere to grow? There's a lot of growth. Yeah? I can't believe it. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's see how we do. So 360 wheel horsepower, I'm extremely happy with the results. Uh, the reason we didn't go above that number was because of the fuel system limitations and if we want to go above that number we'll have to redo the fuel pump wiring. For a daily driven street car it's going to be plenty enough power for me and it's going to be lots of fun on the track. You're welcome to check this video to my right if you want to see how the GC performed last time we were here on the dyno. In any case there are a lot more exciting things to come so stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.